It's Wild 94.1, the base party station. Davi Rolando with a little special behind the scenes look. I got a new upcoming exciting artist with me, Tate Tucker. What up Yee. with you, bro? What up, what up? Hey, Thank you man. for having Ple me, man. Pleasure to meet you. We just Sorry. met right now. Um, tell, tell them where you from, man. Where did this whole thing originate? I'm from Los Angeles, California, man. Okay. So I'm, I'm here and it's sunny. Yeah. It's different, but we got palm trees. This is your first time in Florida? My first time in Florida. What? What, what do you think? First impression? It's dope. The drive to Tampa was crazy. Okay. Like, it's gorgeous over here yeah you get off that one bridge it was like that crazy oh the skyway crazy. oh so you you were coming from like miami or? we were coming from fort fort myers yeah um so yeah it was okay it, it's beautiful here man like, all right i want to spend more time bro you're welcome you're, yeah. you're gonna be a native i'm telling you yeah, man we'll show bad. you a couple spots you're gonna love it thank you man. so how how did this whole music thing start do you have like um musicians in your family or how did it start yeah man my parents actually both sang so okay. like they weren't like professional singers but my dad was from Detroit, so he kind of filled in for some Motown groups back in the day. Mm -hmm. And then my mom actually came from Ohio to California to like study singing. Okay. And then they kind of fizzled out, and she ended up working in the music industry for a little bit oh, on the business you. end. So I kind of got privy to it, but right. I was like the only one who really like pursued it. When did you start doing this like full time? Like all my eggs in one basket. This is what I'm gonna do. I like pursued it heavily four years ago, and like it's been full time, full time, no other side hustles for like, really? two years now. So. Yeah. That's been lit. So you dropped singles. I know you have a project yeah. getting ready to come out. Yeah, yeah, I did. I've done singles for the last like three years, and okay. now I'm like ready to finally move into the EP phase. Really? Because people's attention span is like it's this quick. right now. Yeah, no, so I'm like five songs, y'all. Stick with me. But you got their attention with Breezy. Right. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Yeah, but yeah. first, let's talk about the label situation. How did you become a signed artist? What, what was kind of like the process? How did that happen? That was never, ironically, it was never the goal. Okay. Like the goal was always to to be able to get my own fan base up so that whatever happened, I was good. And it just was the right place, right time. You know, mm -hmm. I built up a great team. I had all my content set up. I had, you know, marketing PR in-house. And um, I just had a, a crazy night where like an A&R's friend ended up on my homie's floor. What? And he woke up and was like, what was that last project you played me, man? And he took it to my, my, my A&R, Tim Anderson, and he took me to the top of Capitol. And, they had a void at Harvest Records, and they never signed an Urban Act. So I was, I love challenges. Um, I like doing things first. So I was like, let's do it. Let's so it was like it. meant to be. It was meant to be. All good people. Around. How would you describe your sound? Because you're not one of these artists that you can just like put in a box. You're a little That's bit of favorite, this, a little yeah. sprinkle of that. Yeah. Like, how how would you kind of describe it? It's like I said, I've been saying like more of like beach hop. Like it's like it's hip hop at its core. I grew up on Far Side and like West mm -hmm. Coast hip hop, but. I don't know, the more you get into your vocal cadences, it's hard to ignore that you have a falsetto. You know, okay. so I'm like trying to sprinkle in some weekend, sprinkle in some tight dollar, but keep it quintessentially hip hop uh, in the production. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's like 50 50. You know, it's like some. So are you like a big beach kid? Like, are you yes. out there all the time? Bro, I grew up like 10 steps from the beach. Really? Yeah, like. My parents got me out of a bad area, and we were super broke, but they put us like right on the beach in this oh, little man. like dirty beach neighborhood. Do you like surf or like boogie board? I grew up surfing like on skimboard. Really? Skimboarding's my. That's where it's at. Yeah, and I can like skim kind of anywhere, you know. Because okay. I heard there's not crazy waves right. everywhere here, but if you have some flat water, you can skim in like. Oh, lakes, man. anything. So I, I love skimboarding. Dude, man. I just moved like from like the city, like yeah. in Tampa, to like the beach. I just like a Lifestyle couple months. Lifestyle change. It's so man. different. It's yeah. totally different. The people, the vibe. Yep. I could not see myself like going like, anywhere. I'm a beach person. Yeah, I'm, I'm a beach guy. A person, yeah, I'm gonna get my chancleta. Yeah, right? a little, a little <laughs> I'm gonna live the tourist life. So breezy is like the perfect record, the perfect yeah. sound for that. Like describe it. Where where were you when you recorded? Where were you when you came up with it? So I physically was in Hollywood, but I mentally, I was at my beach where I spent a lot of time and, and my dad had just passed. And so he, we grew up in that beach together. He had lived there as a bachelor. Mm. It's a special place to me. And I was like, man, I'm listening to the radio. I'm in LA, but I don't hear LA. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hear LA from midnight on, but I'm not hearing like where we all spent our day. Okay. So I was in the studio and I was trying to come up with something where people could for, sort of find a deeper peace in something, but it wasn't too deep. Okay. So I was trying to just bring sand and water and meditation to, to the music and it worked out. Have you performed it a few times yet? I performed it a couple times. Okay. And it's, it's dope, man. The yeah. drums hit harder than you think. And right. It's just, everybody kind of gets in. It's like a little house party vibe. So it's... It's dope. It's Wild 94 one the base party station. Tate Tucker, yo, you've been on the grind for years, man. Something that your fans don't necessarily know about you. Somebody that's been riding with you since 2014, 15. What would they be surprised to learn? Mm, Putting your I, boy on the spot. <laughs> I almost ended up on Wall Street. Really? Yeah, I almost ended up in, in that whole world, bro. I went to I went to Georgetown. Okay. And 
I had a bunch of like, you know, finance homies and that was kind of the path you go on. And I was real close to like, I was doing some case study interviews and like almost going into the consulting, oh, like Deloitte man. route. Do you still and, dabble? Nah, I mean, no. I, I have friends I can call, you know, yeah. and know where to put my money and things okay. like that, which is great. But So no investment advice from Tate coming anytime soon? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you should you should definitely have your money in, in something, even a, even like an index fund okay. over your savings account, because it'll beat out the interest rate. You hear this guy? This is just a musician. My man is financially let money savvy. Let your money work for you. don't buy a boat. Don't buy a boat? A speedboat. You, you can buy a little, you a little thought jet about ski. It? No, I, I ain't there yet. Yeah, you know you want one. I'm coming for a condo first. Oh, so okay, so I, I have a now. Now I'm living in the beach. Like, well, like one of my best friends, he's like, I mean, he's damn near a captain. Right. So him and I always have the conversation. Would you rather have a two hundred thousand dollar car or a two hundred thousand dollar boat? If it was just Ooh. gifted to you, like, you know, you yeah. can't say, oh no, I'm right, going right, to right. diversify. No, 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 no. Right. You got to hold one down. Wow. And this is a hard one because the Cali kid, beach life, you on the tough. water. That's a bias. I know, bro. You know I what? Like low live in the boat. I, and you know everything that comes with right. having a bad boat like that. But then I'm going to say car. Okay. Because I know the upkeep that comes with that boat. Smart And man. unless they're hitting me with some maintenance fees up front. That's that finance they hit me, background. You know what I'm saying? They just hit me with some debt. <laughs> <laughs> Tate Tucker is wild on four one. Yo, let them know the socials. Let them know how they can follow yes, you. Yes, sir. It's Tate Tucker. It's at uh, Yup It's Tate Y U P I T S T A T E on Instagram and Twitter. Follow me and keep up for the Shangri La EP release in a couple weeks. Uh, and Breezy is out on all platforms. all platforms. If you turn my car on right now, it's that Cali vibe Ooh. that's just permeating my speakers. Ooh. Yeah, man, we appreciate you coming through the Florida, Thank you bro. For having I'm me, telling man. you, man, we gotta hit the beach. Yes. Just, what is it, skimboarding? Woo. Skimboarding. And then yeah. we'll go boat shopping. Oh, actually, 100%. boat window shopping. We'll go boat window shopping. <laughs> we'll rent one out. You okay, know cool. We'll rent one out for the day. We'll go back to our two hundred thousand dollar car. <laughs> you did. Tate Tucker's wild every four one.